Pat Robertson is going to do what is basically the most irresponsible and dangerous thing he can possibly do. Let's watch. I'm 76 years old. Several years ago, I made a covenant with God. I asked him to be my physician. I said, I trust you, Lord, for all my physical needs, whether I'm sick or healthy, healed or afflicted. I will never cease to praise you. And when my life is ended, I pray you'll receive me into your holy kingdom. The problem is, every time I'm sick, my family pressures me to see a doctor. Was I foolish for making such a commitment? I know my loved ones are only concerned with my welfare. How can I make them understand? You know, <clears throat> there's some people that think that doctors are God, and they really aren't. And you've asked God to be your physician, so stick with it and say, Lord, I'm, I'm asking you for it. Uh, I, I see nothing wrong with taking medicine. I'm all for doctors. I, I'm so grateful for the incredible medicine and the technology we have available to us. It's absolutely extraordinary, and I don't want to diminish that one bit. But you've made a commitment to the Lord. Stick with it. Don't let your family influence you. Do what you feel like doing. You couldn't make it up if you tried. You really couldn't. That is the worst possible thing he could say. We've spoken about similar stories in the past, and Pat Robertson has danced around that same conclusion that you just heard right there. Now he didn't even bother to dance around. He's just like, yeah, I like the doctors, I'm going to use the doctors, but fuck it. If you want to do that, go ahead and do it. No, any answer other than go to the doctor, don't be stupid, is wildly irresponsible and dangerous. And this is why he is a dangerous guy. And this is why religion is dangerous at, at its heart, at its core. Because it convinces people, it brainwashes people to be okay with otherworldly answers. It convinces people that, no, no, don't worry. Delay gratification to the next life. Delay healing yourself to the next life because you made a pact with God. But what if there is no next life? What if all there is is you getting healed and you having an extra year or two years or whatever it is on this earth to spend with your loved ones and to be happy on this planet, possibly the only chance you'll ever have at consciousness? But Pat Robertson pays no mind to that whatsoever. He totally buys into the premise, sure, God is healing, and if you made a pact with him, sure, go ahead and do that. Totally buys into the premise, totally misleads the person, and it feeds into the worst possible answer and worst possible belief system. And he goes, well, some people think uh, doctors are gods. No, they don't. Nobody ever said that, ever, ever. People think that doctors are problem solvers and healers. Why do they think that? Because they're problem solvers, because they're healers. Stop and think about this. If the situation was just a little more extreme than what it is right now, I don't know the health state of this person. Hopefully he's not sick, and hopefully he's not already feeling it, which is why he's asking the question, which is a possibility, which is a scary thing, too. But imagine this same guy was in a car accident, whether he was driving or in the passenger seat or what have you, and his femur snaps in two. In that situation, what would happen? Would he take the same approach? No, no, don't take me to the hospital. I'm okay. I just made a pact with God. So he'll either heal my leg or he won't, and I'll accept my fate. Would he do that in that situation? Of course not. Would he do that in a situation where it was brazenly and blatantly obvious that he needed immediate medical attention? No, he wouldn't. So why is it different when that's not the case? You know, people say, oh, you always run to God when troubles are, uh, when things get really bad. No, when things get really bad in real life, physically, and there's physical pain, you run to the doctor. And you should run to the doctor, because we see the evidence, we see the proof, we know they fix it, we know you have the best shot if you go to them. I mean, they could, if you haven't been hurt bad enough, people have come back from gunshot wounds and all types of disastrous problems where people think, no, they're not going to make it, and then they make it. Because we have incredible surgeons, we have incredible specialists for different body systems and organs. The evidence is there for doctors. We know they can help you. We know they can. They have the best chance of fixing you. But what does Pat Robertson say? The opposite. No, I believe you're packed with God if, if you so choose. There are 
many kids who have died just in the past two years. We covered the story recently because their parents decided they believe in faith healing. So they take their belief system and they impose it on their kids. And they say, this is our belief, so we're going to make you abide by it. And kids have died. They've died as a result of it. One family lost two kids because one of them died. They went to court. The judge said, don't do it again. They got out. They fucking did it again. This is the mindset that we're looking at here with Pat Robertson. This is the mindset that we're looking at here with his viewer. These guys need a reality check, man. Look, you can believe whatever you want to believe, but as the great Dr. House line goes, but when it comes to crossing the street, you know damn well you look both ways, right? You don't say at that time, I have faith in God, I'm just not going to look and I'm going to fucking cross. Well, that would be stupid to do that. That's what it would be. It's a stupid thing to do if you do that. Well, it's the same thing for not going to the doctor and getting medical attention and taking God as your alternative. It's not an alternative. It's just, it's, it is a stupid thing to do. And people like this, honestly, it feels a little bit like talking to a toddler. You need to sit down the toddler, talk to the toddler and explain to them, here's why you're wrong. Here's why this doesn't make any sense. They may kick, they may scream, they may yell, but a harsh dose of reality is what's needed because if that increases their chances of going to the doctor, even 3% or 4% more, well, then you did the right thing. Pat Robertson here did the exact wrong thing.